Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how SheetGo forms work and how to create them. SheetGo forms offers some features and benefits that make it a great choice for spreadsheet users and take data collection to the next level. The main advantage of SheetGo forms is that they start from a spreadsheet. Each column within your spreadsheet corresponds to a field in your form. To create a new field, simply type the title or subject of your field in a column. This will automatically transfer the text to a new field in your form. Let me show you now how you can create a SheetGo form using this inventory management workflow to allow users to enter data by filling out the form. I'll build a form from this check-in spreadsheet. As you can see, it has five columns. SheetGo will create the form containing a field for each column. Now I'll click Forms. I'll call it Check-in Form. Then I'll select my source file and tab. You can preview the form and choose where you want to send all the information whenever someone fills out the form. The default option is to send the data to the same spreadsheet. Under Advanced Settings, you can customize the confirmation message to your linking. I'll press Finish and Save. SheetGo has just created a form. Now I can enter data by simply filling out the form. Let's see now how you can edit and configure a SheetGo form. Open the spreadsheet and edit the first row. You can add, remove, or edit columns. Here you can also apply data validation or set default values. For example, if you want to make the field required, just add an asterisk. Let's say I want to set the default date to today's date. All I need to do is type in default colon today between brackets. After editing the spreadsheet, I'll open the form and click Sync Form. Sheets Go will apply all the changes to the form automatically. There are many other functions and features. On top of setting a required field or a default value, you can create drop-down menus, add checkboxes, accept only email addresses, set fields as read only, add a rating scale question, include a radio or option button, and even integrate it with a barcode scanner. Click the link in the description below if you want to learn more about applying data validation, configuring sub-questions, and using autofill with SheetGo forms. Now you can make your form available to the public via an easily shareable link to collect information from people outside your organization. First click on the restricted icon. This will open a new window asking for confirmation, then click the publish button. Here you can require users to sign in to submit responses. You can also get a shareable link by clicking copy link. If you click customize, you can change the colors and the font and also turn on dark mode. Now that you've created your form, you can set up the form to be an automation trigger. Whenever someone submits a form, SheetGo will automatically run the workflow. In our case, every time someone submits a form, the inventory master file will be up to date. I'll click automate and select run automatically. You can transfer your data based on a schedule, on a form submission, or on a workflow run. I'll select on form submission. Then I'll click save to schedule the automatic transfers. There you have it. SheetGo will run your workflow and transfer the data automatically whenever someone fills out the form. That's how you create a form with SheetGo. Check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel, or visit SheetGo.com for more spreadsheet-based automation ideas. Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video.